All right, welcome back. Ron Smiley here. You know, it's Halloween time. There's pumpkins all over the place, and there's always a different way of doing things. This is one of those ways, though. I mean, look at this right here. Look at this right here. It just looks like a normal pumpkin almost, doesn't it? This is a wooden creation, and it took a special person to think about this. I am here with Bill Shout right now. Bill Shout, Wood Creations. How did you ever get started and think that piece of lumber or wood or a chopping block is going to be a pumpkin? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you know what? I was interested in carvings. I used to buy and collect them myself. Went to Ridgeway, Pennsylvania. They have the biggest rendezvous there of any place in the United States. And I watched those guys for a couple years, bought some carvings, and I tried it at home. And that's kind of how I got started. How long did it take you to kind of perfect what you're doing? Um, I've been at this for like 10 years. Okay. And my first bears are pretty embarrassing. My aunts and uncles all have them, uh, my sisters, my relatives. And basically started with, you know, gifts for them for Christmas, birthdays, that type of thing. Then I went to Sorgles and we actually turned it into a business making these pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Gotcha. You do other things besides just pumpkins, correct? Oh, sure. We uh, Eagles, owls, stuff for businesses, 10-foot bears, um, you know, so we do anything and everything anybody could possibly want. Okay, and I know you have a partner over here in Barb as well. Tell us about just what goes into, do you see before you even start what you're going to make? How does it go? How does the creation process work? You have to listen to the log. It tells you what it wants to be. So I mean, most of the time it says, I don't want to be firewood, so <laughs> I want to be a pumpkin. Right. Okay. So. And that's what it becomes right there. It becomes, yeah. I just by looking at it and, you know, seeing how it's shaped and imagining in your mind of what it can be. Gotcha. Uh, let me ask you, for those that are, might be out there and they're saying, I want to be a carver, this is something that I might have never thought about doing or anything else, how do they get started getting on your level and Bill's level? Well, first of all, um, please, don't try this at home. <laughs> Our saws are adapted to be able to make us do what we do. So don't use a regular homeowner's saw. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and second of all, just study, study. I watch a lot of Bill, you know, what he does. I watch a lot of our friends, okay. you know, and it gets to the point where, you and we're, we learn every day though. We're yeah. still learning. Awesome, awesome. Real quick, uh, Bill, just want to know, if someone's out there, they want to find your creations, where can they go to do it? Yeah, sure. We have a Facebook page, Bill Shout Wood Creations, and we also have a website, um, you know, BillShoutWoodCreations.com. Okay. So. All right. Let's get to